Welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you benchmarks and a speed comparison on Harman US in comparison with Emotion UI. So this is the Antutu benchmark. Someone was asking me if I can do a benchmark run on the Harman US 2.0 beta version for the Mate 30 Pro and the Mate Pad Pro and I did this and this is what I want to present to you right now. So let's get started. This is the Antutu benchmark, as you can see here, the score is 543,000. And this is roughly what the Mate 30 Pro also produced on Emotion UI running Android. You can see the ranking here and you can see here I'm on place uh, 53 and the Mate 30 Pro officially has the place 51 with 551. Uh, but I have to say I ran the benchmark three times and also turned on performance mode that is still enabled for this but to be fair i just disabled it if you run this benchmark with it disabled you will get like 300 something not the 500 uh, that you can see here right now so this is the antutu benchmark for those people asking for antutu benchmarks running harmony as when it comes to the system in general it is pretty fluid as you can see here swiping through i think this is even more important than the benchmarking results also when i go to the right here uh, or the left in this case then I swipe uh, then you can see there's no stutter in loading this um, which is pretty nice sometimes it needs to reload the newsfeed that I have here but there's no stutter going on in harmonious even with the default standard theme and what we want to check out right now is a performance test with the Mate XS that I have here that has roughly the same hardware as the Mate 30 Pro. So you get the Kirin 990 both with the same uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM and fast UFS, um, I think it's free storage. So what we want to do is uh, some benchmarking. So first of all, let's close everything just to be on the secured side here. So the device has now, no, uh, both of these devices don't have any apps open. And what we want to do right now is testing and starting some applications. So we first start off with uh, 9GIG, if I can find it here. I think it's under the fun category. There we have it. One, two, three. And we can see, I think the Mate was a bit quicker then the the mate xs was a bit quicker than the mate 30 uh, pro and what we want to check out next is youtube advanced uh, one two three and i think in loading times they're equal but when it comes to reloading stuff um, from the internet i think the mate 30 was a bit quicker they're both on the same wi-fi by the way then we can load Antonopod, one, two, three, podcasting client. And you can see, I think the Mate XS is slightly bit faster here in this regards. In terms of animation speed, do we see any difference here? I don't think there's a big difference, but what I figured out already also on my Mate Pad Pro is multitasking keeps a lot more application open on the uh, Mate 30 Pro with Harman OS in in comparison to the Mate XS with Emotion UI 11. So the next application that we want to open up, some social media applications, just like for example Reddit, one, two, three. And it's almost the same. There's almost no difference again. Loading time on the Mate 30 Pro a bit faster when it comes to internet. Loading times when it comes to uh, Twitter. Let's try Twitter out, uh, one, two, three. And again, I think slightly bit quicker on the Mate XS, but it's very close as you can see here. So every day-to-day -day tasks, you don't notice much of a difference when it comes to the performance of the applications. So Harmony OS performs as good as Android, maybe slight, slightly a bit better. Uh, what they changed are animation effects, but if I show you the animation here, you can see they're a tiny bit slower on the um, no? they're a tiny bit slower maybe on the 
for some reason it's not working on the mid access now <laughs> that's interesting so you cannot get them to equally show up but you can see the animations are the same basically I have the feeling that they tweaked a little bit on the animations on the Mate 30 Pro so I have uh, some more animations here uh, when I go into stuff and I think with uh, newer versions they will tweak it even more when it comes to the animation speed and the animation properties when we go to uh, for example another application what application can we open up in social media the next one would be uh, would be uh, Tusky which is a um, Mastodon client one two three and again I think they made access a bit faster when it comes to the animation of closing those applications I don't see much of a difference I have to say but it feels a bit more fluid in my eyes on the Mate 30 Pro especially not in maybe in this test not so much but if you are doing some work heavy work and is doing some IO like updating in the background then the Mate 30 Pro definitely has still fluid animations where the Mate XS stutters which uh, might be an indicator for a changed rendering engine or pipeline on Harmony OS but in general as you can see here the speed is comparable there's not much of a difference uh, in terms of every day-to-day -day tasks uh, the only thing that you get with Harmony OS is slightly bit more animations here and there and uh, when it comes to the feed I think this stutters more um, well, this is just my imagination maybe and we have some yeah some slightly different subtle effect changes on Harmony OS in comparison to Motion UI uh, that is basically everything for this comparison in terms of speed so Emotion UI, uh, Emotion UI and Harmony OS uh, are running on the Mate 30 Pro and the Mate XS uh, now let's go and check the tablet and see how things worked out there now on the MatePad Pro, let's take a look at the scores of Antutu. I screenshot them because uh, they are only working in portraits, so screenshot them in landscape so you can see the uh, results. Here you can see the MatePad Pro, interestingly enough, has higher results, but I have to uh, say here I only did uh, one run on the MatePad Pro in the performance mode uh, so it might be that the uh, Mate 30 Pro can also score a bit higher and uh, yeah this is pretty good I would say with uh, 574,000 and uh, roughly you can see where it is like uh, positioned here on play, uh, place 43 um, directly under the Honor 30 Pro uh, that has a little bit higher score and the Rumi X7 Pro Galaxy S20 series uh, better than the ROG Phone 2 which is also pretty interesting uh, so it's a good device I would say in terms of performance when it comes to animations here I have the impression that they even tweaked even more in terms of animations of course this year the uh, overall overview of all running applications definitely has a nice new animation optimized for tablet they had to do this because the first devices that come out with Harmony OS are tablets so they were working there mostly and did also the animations there a bit more you can see also I have the feeling uh, slightly that the uh, Mate um, Pad Pro has a bit more animations than the Mate 30 Pro and that the animations are more fluid or at least I can see them here on the screen more fluidly than on the smallish screen of the Mate 30 Pro so if I open up the files for example and I go out of files you can see this is the let's go out of files you can see the, how it retains the image until it gets to this icon and this is pretty good I guess I do it in a quick manner and it will still be very responsive as you can see here before it's even opened up completely I can close it already this is something that with the Emotion UI you couldn't do is it a big uh, difference it is not a big difference because you don't do this much 
but if you are very quickly working on your MatePad Pro and switching between applications, this might be definitely a thing because it reacts already even if the application is not loaded. And this is something new that was not that present on Emotion UI 11, at least not that strong. So in general, I'm pretty happy with the speed of the MatePad Pro. I cannot complain about anything here. I have even the impression that rendering of videos is working fine and faster with KineMaster. I'm using usually KineMaster, but there's also PowerDirector, Quick and uh, Video Workshop. I also tried out the, uh, how's the app called, which I can recommend that Huawei was showing in their demos. It uh, was Filmora Go HD, I think. It's the tablet version. So I can also recommend you the Filmora, Fil Filmora Go, there it is. Uh, HD version, which is the tablet version, which looks a little bit like a, um, yeah, a normal application for editing videos. Um, I'm, I still have to try it out. It's like uh, you have to pay a little bit for getting the full functions. Otherwise, you can only record or, or here you can see it. So I have also given it a rating. It was not working for me on this tablet. It giving me only black frames instead of the actual frames. So um, it might be a Harmony S issue, might be a Femora issue, or I have to buy the full version to have uh, this unlocked as well. I don't know yet. But anyway, uh, this is basically everything. I'm pretty happy with the MatePad Pro's speed. I'm also pretty happy with the Mate 30 Pro's speed. It didn't get a hell lot quicker, but I think the animations are a little bit more fluid, especially in those situations where you are working hard, where something is downloading in the background, the animations continue to run fluid and there's no stutter or micro jitter that you sometimes had with Emotion UI 11. But in general, when it comes to benchmarks or something like this, it is using the best that it can out of this hardware already. So you don't get much of a difference in terms of uh, performance or speed on existing devices with Harmony OS. That is basically everything for this video. Let me know if you have some other questions regarding Harmony OS, things I should try out and write them down in the comments section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.